A model that debuted in Metarot Navi returned in 9 and has stuck around in Metarot rosters ever since. It is WMS Zero Stickle Cutter, with a kit of Mobile Boost, Double Virus, Multi Legs, and the leg ability of Carrier, which grants a chance for debuffs applied to itself to be passed to the enemy when attacked. Now, as a model that's been around in Metarot S since its launch, Sickle Cutter is a model of the three star pool that you could get moderately easy probably within your first week or so of playing if you make enough pulls. And even if he may not look like much at first glance, he actually does pack a little more under the hood than you might give him credit for, and make himself a particularly nasty threat on the field if you ignore him. Mobile Boost is a support based skill that, once activated, will buff himself, his mobility and that of his allies by about 50% while the effect is active. While this effect is active, that means he will be running notably faster to and from the line, making it much easier for him to possibly outrun targets and spam virus on them to inflict basically turn skip. On the topic of virus, it is good for that very reason of turn skip, as when you catch a foe in their heat phase and successfully inflict it upon them, it will effectively have wasted their turn by the time they get to the line. That means they have to run all the way to the line, waste their turn, turn around, and run back. This is very good for stalling strategies, especially if there is someone particularly dangerous on the enemy's side that you do not want to get a give a chance to take their turn. Because if they do, it will spell doom for you moderately quickly if you don't pay attention. Multi-legs means that, that Sickle Cutter will have moderately good coverage across most terrains, arguably one of the next best under biped in many personal cases, and in my opinion when it comes to, to terrain compatibility spread, but Sickle Cutter is kind of redundant in the sense that both his arms do the same thing, which make him a little tricky to use as a pure set. Even though you can use Virus on either arm and not really see much of a change in how he behaves, such as say if one arm breaks you can still use the other one, using him as a pure set is kind of strange. Mostly because, again, he does have that going for him, and the fact that his leg ability of Carrier kind of requires him to be attacked and inflicted with things before he actually can pass along the negative ailment to someone else. Such as, say, if, so, if he ends up getting frozen, such as, say, from Freeze or Freeze Shot or, say, Thunder or, or Melt or something of the like. When being attacked, he has a chance to reverse it and put the ailment on the enemy that attacked him. So it can be very good for passive um, punishment damage, I suppose you can call it, if you have someone who can take it. But the problem is, in order to do that, it requires Sickle Cutter to actually be attacked which risks him getting broken or damaged or even crippled if he somehow survives it. And if his legs go out, the entire reason he could do that on the field also is effectively gone. Much as a surprise, however, despite how fragile he looks, he's actually decently tanky when it comes to his armor as well. With a head at about 3500 HP, arms at about 3300 each, and his legs just barely shy of 3900, he's actually very healthy in the armor department, so even if it does require him to be attacked in order to use his leg ability, he can take a hit moderately well if you can control the damage with that. His mobility honestly isn't super great though in the 500s or so, but honestly his resist stats are kind of out there and make it kind of tricky to use him in this sense. With an anti with, with a shoot resist of about 574, that's definitely not great, as that means that he will be taking a pretty significant chunk of punish damage from anyone taking pot shots from afar. However, because he at, at, with a melee resist at 1631, he can definitely hold his own much better up close and personal and keep damage as low as possible with that much higher melee resist. An Evade of 606 definitely isn't great either, as this means he will not be dodging or grazing a lot, um, and he is going to be relying on his damage reduction to keep damage as low as possible. That being said, as a pure set score, I do have to rate Sickle Cutter a pretty solid 5 out of 10, and kind of a middle of the road kind of bot in this case. He's definitely not terrible to use, and he has some pretty solid parts to make use of, but given the fact that both of his arms are considered heavy, it does make using him in any form or fashion kind of tricky, and given the fact that he is using two heavy parts, that does also make him susceptible to heavy punish, say from break or wide break or break hammer. 
As mixed parts, however, I do have to rate him higher at a 6 out of 10. Even if, if you are willing to, uh, to acknowledge the fact that his arms are heavy and want to use them for something, Virus is a skill you generally can never ever go wrong with using, especially if you're using it on someone who is fast or agile and very good at outrunning targets so you can inflict them with turn skip. The only real thing you want to pay attention to when using Sickle Cutter, especially his arms in this case, is if anyone is using Stat Cleanse. Because once that goes live on the field, half the reason Sickle Cutter is on there, aside from maybe passing along ailments when he's attacked, is kind of made redundant and useless.